Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to delve into something a little different in our container series. We're going to take a look at something called Freak Trade. This is an open source package that does high frequency automated bot trading of cryptocurrencies. So this is getting off into the fringe a little bit. I'd like to know what you think of this topic. Let me know if this is something you really want to get deep into. This also comes with a big disclaimer, okay? But you can trade actual money here. So you wanna make sure that you understand the financial implications, the tax implications, depending on what country you're in, you wanna make sure you're not delving into something illegal or that'll get you into any sort of tax trouble or financial trouble. Freak Trade is a open source package and it connects to cryptocurrency exchanges and does automated trading based on parameters that you set up. So you create a trading strategy and it will automatically trade it looks for a, a whole bevy of different parameters to decide on when it's going to buy and sell a cryptocurrency and also what cryptocurrency it's going to buy and what other currency, a currency pair, that it's going to trade in and out of. There's been a lot of buzz around cryptocurrency, especially trading markets. So this is something I thought I would share. And if it's something you guys are interested in, we're gonna keep going with it. Uh, I can talk about this for quite some time. So we're just gonna do an introduction today and I wanna see in the comments below what you think. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, if this is something you're into, not into. And if I get enough interest, we'll keep going with this as a whole series. So let's talk about some of the basic blocks of what is happening with Freak Trade. First, you have your exchange, your currency exchange. So this is where those Cryptocurrencies are actually traded, just like stocks are traded. And the exchange allows API-based trading, where you can use software to interact with it directly. You don't have to get on there with your mouse and click around and say, buy, sell, buy, sell. You can do that. But what we're really after is doing this programmatically. So that's your cryptocurrency exchange platform. There's several of them out there that are fully supported by Freak Trade. We'll dive into those a little bit and some of their pros and cons later on. And then you have Freak Trade. This is the thing that's doing all of the trading. Then you have your input, which is your strategy file. This is where we're defining all of the things, whether it's looking for certain market indicators, where it says, I have a buy indicator. I'm going to go ahead and buy at this amount, and I'm going to hold it until I get a sell indicator, and I'm going to sell it and I'm gonna rinse and repeat. How frequently are we doing that? Some trading strategies are doing hundreds of trades a day or even more. Some are more long-term and they're doing just a couple of trades a week, but they're looking for very specific indicators and the whole thing amounts to one particular strategy. There's a concept of back testing and dry runs, which we're definitely gonna talk about in detail. Dry run is what you think it is. You're running your strategy against the markets and we're simulating those trades and it's tracking those in its database as if it were making real cash trades, but it's not. So that way you can see how your strategy performs over a period of time against real live market data. There's some gotchas there. It's making some assumptions that certain things are happening in the market at that exact time. It's not perfect and you would see that if you ran a, a dry run and a live mode side by side on each other as separate instances they're not gonna track perfectly. They're gonna track pretty close, but they're not gonna be exact. Then there's back testing. This is really cool. So this is where you set your strategy up. You have Freak Trade download a big chunk of historical data and then run your strategy against that downloaded data and see how you would have done in those market conditions. Back testing is super helpful and it happens pretty quick. It's basically as fast as your system can crunch the numbers. Then there's far more advanced things. There's something called Hyperopt. This is essentially where you're gonna allow the bot to tune itself, make its own strategy. This is very cool. This lets your strategy be more adaptive to the market itself, but it's a more advanced topic for another day. Okay, last thing I wanna to touch on is about trade pairs. So I wanna just mention where your tax implications may or may not be. And people are gonna have different opinions on this, but I wanna throw this out as something you should explore. The concept is you're trading in pairs. So you might have Bitcoin against US dollars or Bitcoin against Euro, okay? But you can also trade Bitcoin against another cryptocurrency. Now there's some different schools of thought on which is better to do. Personally, I like trading in and out of cryptocurrency into a fiat currency so that I'm actually realizing actual gains. There's some tax implications though when you're doing a lot of high frequency trading against US dollars that depending on where you live and depending on the exchanges you're using and different legalities, you might have to report every single one of those transactions, just like you would as 
trading stocks. If you're doing 10,000 trades a month, your accountant's gonna hate you. However, there may be some ways around that. If you're trading in and out of cryptocurrency to cryptocurrency, different markets are gonna be a little bit more lax with that. And one way you can do that and still essentially trade in and out of fiat is if you trade, say, Bitcoin for what is called a tether. Now, a tether coin, there's one uh, in US dollars, there's USDT, which is US dollar tether. And what that is is a coin that its whole purpose is to track the value of the US dollar one to one. And it's off by a few fractions of a penny at any given time, but it essentially it's tracking the dollar. And there's tether coins for just about every fiat currency there is. So there's one thought process that says, let's trade all of our trade pairs in cryptocurrency to a tether coin. So now you're staying in the crypto market on the exchange. You're not constantly coming in and out of fiat currency. I don't know that that alleviates all of the problems. I'm certainly not an accountant. I'm certainly not a tax expert. Please don't rely on me for any financial advice ever, but that's something to explore. Okay. So anyway, this is just a quick introduction to Freak Trade. I think this is a really interesting and exciting platform for people that are interested in cryptocurrencies and trading and automated trading and high frequency trading, things like that. I think this is super interesting. It's open source, I love that. It runs in containers, you know I love that. So in our next one, we're gonna do some deployment on this. I wanna show you how you can deploy a lot of Freak Trade instances side by side and put them behind a traffic proxy so that you have named instances that are easy to find. And then also I wanna show you a dashboard that'll wrap all of these instances into one web UI. So that's really handy. If you're testing a lot of strategies side by side, you don't wanna have like a dozen browser tabs going. It'll drive you crazy. Let's put that all into one. So I wanna show you how I do that. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit me down in the comments. I'd like to know what you think of this. If you're not already, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you see the next one coming in, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.